Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video in the OBS series. I'm Jamie and today we're going over setting up scenes and using scene switching to create a smooth live stream right after the intro. By the way, if you haven't seen previous week's episode on how to set up OBS for both recording and live streaming, I highly suggest you checking it out as it's quite useful. So OBS is a quite powerful piece of software for both screen capturing and live streaming. It makes use of different scenes built up of sources. While streaming, you can switch scenes like from your screen to the Be Right Back screen, as you can see here. So what are sources and scenes exactly? Now sources are the building blocks of your scene. A source can be a screen capture, a webcam, an image, or a piece of text. Here's the list of different sources there are. Scenes are the different parts of your live stream. While I'm streaming, I actually have four different scenes. Three of those are images like the Be Right Back screen, and the last one is my screen capture itself. While streaming, I actually like to use two monitors, one which I'm actually recording, and a secondary monitor to the side which has OBS and the YouTube live stream on there, so I can monitor that on a different screen. So let's start making our first scene. Now a thing you have to keep in mind is that scene and source names are global, so if you have a scene called screen capture, you can't have a source called screen capture, so you have to name everything a different thing. To make a new scene, simply click the plus icon under the scenes panel. It will ask you for a name, so fill one in. Now you can decide what sources you want to add in your scene, like a screen capture or a face cam. Add each source by clicking the plus icon under the sources menu. You can scale or move a source by dragging the edge or center respectively, but if you want to crop a certain source, select it, hold alt while dragging an edge. Make as many scenes as you like. The Be Right Back and Stream End scenes are actually just images I made in Photoshop and then in the scenes panel I added an image source which is basically that picture. I personally think that that's the best way to display images as uh, Photoshop or HitFilm are more powerful text editors than OBS itself. So if you want something like that you can use just an image. While streaming, you can put OBS on studio mode by clicking the studio mode button. This allows you to see the audience's current view on the right while having the next scene set up on the left. To set up a scene for switching, just click on it from the scenes menu. When you press either the cut or fade, it will transition to the scene you have selected. When you click the little arrow next to the transition, you can set the time. I have my fade set to 2000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. Now that you know how to switch manually, I'll go over setting up keybinds for scene switching. If you go to the hotkeys menu in the settings, you're able to set hotkeys for switching to a certain scene. It will transition to the next scene using the last transition used by you. So either a cut or a fade. So now we've covered the visual part of live streaming but you can also adjust the mic or desktop audio. Simply do that by using the sliders at the bottom of the screen or you can mute either the desktop or microphone audio by clicking the speaker icon next to it. So I hope I covered everything for a smooth stream in this video. Now, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll try to answer all of them. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week with a video where we'll set up a stream for YouTube. Bye. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Now like and subscribe if you haven't already. And while you're here, take the time to check out these two videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye.